gentleman from Tennessee is recognized for two and a half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of H.R. 5447, the Music Modernization Act, a bipartisan bill that will finally update our nation's copyright laws and correct a terrible injustice that threatens a future of quality music. Music has changed perhaps more than any other industry over the past 50 years. When the Copyright Act of 1976 was signed into law, most people got their music on a vinyl record. I still like vinyl, I might add. Uh, today, you can instantly stream music to your phone from any a number of services at the touch of a button. That Copyright Act might have been what was needed at the time, but it never could have anticipated the radical shift in how music is consumed uh, and, uh, over the past, even the last 10 years. For far too long, hardworking songwriters have been penalized under the old system and have been paid only pennies on the dollar for their creative works, even though their songs may have been streamed millions of times every second around the world. Garth Brooks' iconic song, The Dance, has been streamed tens of millions of times, and the songwriter, Tony Arata, who wrote that beautiful song, was paid a few hundred dollars. That's ridiculous, and it's wrong. Under the current system, the creative geniuses that write this music won't be able to make a living doing what they love doing, which is writing great songs. The Music Modernization Act seeks to fix this discrepancy and properly recognize the hard work these songwriters put into their craft before they simply stop writing music because they can no longer earn enough money to survive. As a musician myself, I understand what songwriters and performers go through when getting a song out for the world to hear. And it's time we recognize the contributions the songwriters make to the creative process. This bill was supported by the entire music industry. Songwriters, record labels, music publishers, streaming services, just to name a few. It isn't often that we have a truly bipartisan and widely supported piece of legislation to consider, but this bill, uh, we have the opportunity and can change the lives of some of our nation's most talented people for the better. I strongly support H.R. 5447 and encourage all of my colleagues to listen to their favorite song one more time.